Hello Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. If we know a certain keywords that is related to fundamental operations, it would be very easy for us to work on with our discussion. Translating verbal phrases into algebraic expressions, equations, and vice versa. To translate verbal phrases and sentences into mathematical phrases and sentences, we shall need the following symbols of operation, their relations, and meaning. So let's start. In addition, so it is important that we are particular with plus. Added to, increased by, more than, sum of, total of. Those are related to addition. In subtraction, we have minus, subtract, subtract from, decrease by, diminish by, exceed, less, lowered, difference of. And in multiplication, we have times of. Twice, which is double, times two, that's the meaning. Double, uh, the same as twice. Then triple and thrice are the same. Then product of. And in division, we have divided by, quotient of, and divide. At marami pang iba. Ilan lamang iyan sa mga related word kapag pinag-uusapan ng addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Other important things is this. For instance, we have this priest, product of two numbers. The meaning of that is to multiply the first number by the second number. Then if we have quotient of two numbers, the meaning of that is divide the first number by the second number. Then divide the number into two parts means to find two numbers whose so sum is a number. Then reciprocal of a number means one divided by the given number. And half of means one half of a number. Bibigyang pansin natin ang mga phrases na yan when we go on with the examples. And let's start. Consider that we have this verbal phrases. X plus 1, the most popular. Ibig sabihin, we have X, tapos yung symbol ng plus, then 10. If we have X added to 14, ibig sabihin yan, yung 14 ang mauna plus x. Kasi yung x ang ini-add sa 14. Kaya 14 plus x. If we have n in increased by 5, we have n plus 5. Then 1 in addition to y, so mauna uli ito, kasi yung 1 ang ini-add sa y. Kaya y plus 1. Then the sum of two numbers, ibig sabihin may dalawa tayong number na ia-add dahil hindi natin alam yung numbers, you are going to represent that with variables. And that's x plus y. By the way, we can represent a number na hindi nakalagay kung ano yon to any of the variable. And let's continue. How about n minus 4? So, yan yung pinakasimple uli. Kaya yan ay n minus 4, yung symbol ng subtraction, ginamit lang natin. Then the next one. Subtract 14 from a number. So, wala uli yung number. We represent that to any of the variable. Tapos, ima-minus natin ang 14. Kasi, yung 14 daw ang ina-subtract sa any number. So, yung number na na-represent natin ay x. Then, a decreased by 9. Ibig sabihin, a minus 9. So, we have that. Then, we have 11 exceed by y. Ibig sabihin, 11 binawasan ng y. So, we have... 11 minus y. Then, the difference of two numbers, ibig sabihin, any number uli na nagre-represent na ima-minus lang natin. So, we have x minus y. Pwede dyan ang a minus b, m minus n, and so on and so forth. Any variable is accepted. How about this one? The sum of a number and two is 
20. Ibig sabihin, we're talking of a number, we can represent that to any variable. ini add dito kasi sabi sum, tapos is means equal sa 20. Ibig sabihin, kung anong i-represent natin, plus 2 is 20. So, nirepresent natin ang number sa x, tapos plus 2 is, is equal 20. How about thrice a number increase by 4 is 15. So, ibig sabihin, thrice, ibig sabihin kanina ng thrice na ipaliwanag natin, 3 times a number. Thus, increase na dagdag si 4 is equal 15. So, we have 3 n plus 4 equals 15. So, na-represent natin yung number na n. Again, any variable ay pwede. Let's have the next. The difference between x and 2 is 12. Ibig sabihin ng difference, minus, kaya x minus 2 is 12. Then the next one, 5 times a number is 10. So, yung 5, tinimes sa kahit anong number na i-represent natin is 10. O equals to 10. So, 5x equals to 10. Then the quotient of y and 2 is 5. Quotient means divide. So, pwede siya pa fraction o gamit yung symbol niya. So, fraction ang gamitin natin. Ibig sabihin, y over 2 equals 5. Okay? So, ganun natin in express vice versa. Paano kung x plus 2? Paano naman natin gagawin siyang sa sentence? Mathematical sentence, the sum of x and 2. Ibig sabihin, the sum of x and 2. Pwede rin namang 2 added to x. Yung 2, inad natin sa x. Yun din yung mangyayari. Or we can also work out with the next one. 8x equals 16. Paano naman yan isusulat? So, for instance, 8 times a number is 16. So, 8 times a number is 16. Or we can also write that, that the product of 8 and x is 16. Okay, so, that's it. Kamata class. God bless us.